Did I scare you? I have no makeup on. My forehead's all being seen right now. No hat, nowhere to hide. So we're getting to the scary games. <laughs> we're packing and I have my hair up and I didn't want to take my hair down to uh, to put on a hat. And so I didn't also am packing away my makeup. So you're going to deal with this scary little face as we play this scary little game. We are finally playing Fears to Fathom Woodbury Ga Getaway. I thought it said Gateway. Getaway. I saw this game, um, the reviews a little bit. So it is scary, obviously. It's made by Fears to Fathom. Um, and it's two hours long and it seems to be kind of buggy so hopefully we get a good playthrough out of it i'm absolutely nervous because this is like i guess my first one out of the fears of fathom to like not know what's happening at all and like oh oh i hate it uh i don't it doesn't say anything about it i thought it said something nope just estimated time two hours so i guess we should just get into it i'm so nervous i'm so so nervous hopefully uh Hopefully my scary looks don't scare you away from this video, and I hope you all can enjoy it. I hate recording this way, but it just makes it a little bit easier because we are leaving tomorrow bright and early, and I just have to get everything packed away. That's why you're probably seeing boxes and suitcases if you do behind me, because we're packing it all in here. Fears to Fathom, Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway. Uh, December 8th. Oh, it's nearing Christmas time. Oh, <gasps> we have a cat. I already love this game. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Okay, I all I know for a fact is that we follow the yellow text to a T. We don't want to, you know, go stray away from it too much. We just need to go get coffee because that's what's going to keep us alive because that's what's you know, the Fears to Fathom games are about is that these are real stories from real survivors who made out who made it out of a very, very, very bad situation. So as long as we follow what she does and what she tells us to do, we should be good. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my bad. Uh sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it despawns. I was gonna say it begins. There you go. Uh, do I need to put something up there? Water? Uh, needed water. Yeah. I don't drink coffee at all. I am a soda and sweet tea drinker, reluctantly. I do have this circle bottle, though, that I've been drinking out of, which I'm assuming is a little bit healthier. Uh, turn on. Yeah! Mmm, I love the smell of coffee in the middle of the night in this quiet office. Where no one's around. Need to put a lid on it. Actually, I hear typing in the other room. Maybe someone is here. Uh, lids. Lids. There it is. Boop. I'm a coffee maker. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, I can sit. Yummy. Whoa. Hello. Check my corners. Hello. What was that? What was that demonic noise? Needed to use the restroom. Okay. Who's over there? Oh, hello. Okay, sorry to bother you. I'll leave you be. Alright, restroom etiquette. Wash your hands to wipe off. Uh, please uh, notify. Alright, please help this rest keep this restroom clean. Of course. Whoa, this is a cool restroom. It's got a little... I guess uh, I was done with it. Oh, I already finished my drink. Well, I'm assuming... I think it just said the game that we are a lady. Man, this bathroom needs a little bit of work. Um, can I throw it out? I just... Yeah, there we go. Close enough. Let's close the door. Safety first. I always heard that the first toilet in the restroom, people always think that it's the most used and always try to go to the back. So the back toilet is actually the dirtiest, but the front toilet, the front toilet's always clean. I always try to go for the front toilet. I might be wrong. Oh, I thought that was a, <laughs> that, <laughs> I thought that was a, a volume detector. No, that's just our. Who's there? Oh, someone's here. 
Someone's in here. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh! Hello? Whoa, ma'am. Sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. You didn't hear me frying chicken a second ago? Oh, we're getting it good. You almost gave me a heart attack. No, I, yeah, I don't. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Announce it. People are like janitor, cleaner, you know, announce it. Yes, you should have knocked. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little frustrated. A little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Okay. Why are you? Why are we so close? Like I could smell what you ate for lunch. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. So uh, someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Well, yeah, that's me actually. That's really that's me. I'm sorry. Did someone raise you in a barn? There's a trash cans all over the office. Act like I'm an adult and use them. Sorry. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. I'm sorry. <laughs> I let's just pick ours up. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, let's find a trash bin. I would like to find a trash bin to be nice now. Trash bin. Here we go. Oh, oh he didn't see that. Oh, come on. I want to be nice. Please. Is it? Is it? Okay. Wait. No! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, we can pick it up. Come on. Come on. Is it, like, not my destiny to throw things in the trash? Was I born to be a nasty litter bug? Are you close enough? Okay, let's pick up our mess. Okay, we're gonna put it. We're gonna put these cups, these cups back, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, look at that one. Okay, uh, I guess we have to go back to work. Oh, there's a lot of things we can look into. Should we? Okay, so this is not a hiding spot. Okay. I was wondering if it was, if it would show the volume bars. But it is not. Oh. We have a voice message. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Go for Sydney Harper. Who is this? Hello? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I'm been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything alright? I've been in the bathroom for two hours. Oh no, my cell phone. Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Battery dies at the worst times. My phone's been acting up. Oh snap, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. Oh, <laughs> uh, were uh, we? Oh, no. It even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's Getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah. Um. Ooh. About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Oh, he definitely has a crush on us. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Ooh. It'd be nice to catch up. Uh, you know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Wow, he really has a crush on us. Sounds good. Right. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. You keep talking. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. You cheapo. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Why would I hang up? That is like the rudest thing to do. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make a booking now. Right, <laughs> he right. He keeps talking. Sorry for yapping. <laughs> I'm just you just excited, a yapper. Yeah, it's okay. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Bye. Hundred dollars. A night. No more than that. Whoa. Rainbow sheets. Apache synergy. Velocity grow. What is this for? That's cool. Oh. Type invader reloaded. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, I have to type. Uh, unit. I'm not good at typing. I have to look at the keyboard. Oh, wait. Maybe we got this. Oh, 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 oh. Cause 
A rope! Okay, and team! Oh, we're fine! We're golden! Oh, oh, joy! Maybe I should try to keep my fingers on, you know, the home row. Maybe that will help. Uh, Tetra, uh, Apex, Flower, Rower, Ah, no way! <laughs> my accuracy is going down! Oh my gosh, that's a whole lot of aliens. On top! Turn! Is <laughs> Ooh, that guy's fast. He's pretty fast. There's a whole lot of aliens here. Power again. Flower. Blood. Dude. Oh my gosh. I'm a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh-oh. Uh, cell clover. Uh, ear remember. No! No! Continue! We try- Oh no. At the moment I say I'm good. Waterhead. Or her. Uh, carry weather. Practice noise supply. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh, are we almost to the car? Is that our goal? Oh. <gasps> hey! See! We did it! Okay, let's not do that again. That was very, very stressful. Um, I just want to look around. Uh, oh, that's the browser. Uh, error 405. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is... We got our own Excel sheet of... Of something. I have no idea. But, let's look. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh... Cabin house? Oh. <laughs> Rent a cabin. Sure. Enter. Uh, it's not... Is the internet broken? There we go. Okay. Whatever happened there? Find your place to stay. Rent a cabin from any host around the world. Where are you going? Where are we going? Woodbury. Search. Okay. 350 a night? No. That's rude. We have to try to stay under 100. Uh, hmm. Wow, that one looks nice for 200. That looks a lot better. Oh, there we go. It's 99. Well... Looks like we're doing this one. It's got Wi-Fi fishing. It's got three stars. Ooh, this one's got good star reviews, too. Oh, this one's five stars. Aw. See, look at that. That's so expensive. Low reviews. All right. Well, we gotta make do. Let's book it. That doesn't look too bad. Private cabin in Woodbury. Uh, three guests, two bedroom, two beds, one and a half shared bathroom. Not bad. Only two reviews, though. That's kind of sketchy. Your booking has been confirmed. What? I didn't have to pay? Usually you have to put in your information and everything. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. What do you mean rushed? You can send it at any time, no? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, uh, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for le leisure, let alone a social life. Job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Hmm. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural Vermont which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Well, that's good. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Doesn't sound like anything could go wrong, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there we go. Two days later. Is it Friday? Oh! Hey! Are you Mike? Oh, look at that! You got a PSP? That's cool! It's a very nice PSP. Oh, you're not Michael. Do I, why do I want to hang up on him? Why? Escape to read messages. Is that my bag? Oh, it is. Huh, oh. Alright, let's read. Rent a cabin. Rick Wilson. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward uh, to it. 
Just confirming the check-in time is at 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. Key will be in the lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Thank you. And this is our text with Boy Boy Michael. Oh, Harp, how you been? Mike, I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn in for the night. What about you? Not much, just keeping things afloat, my friend. How's the work at the new firm? Pretty much the same as the old job. Just coding my life away. The pay is better. Anyway, I've been thinking about our chat from earlier today. Oh, Mike, like I really don't know. Getting away sounds fun, but it'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend. All I'm gonna do is think about all the work I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Harp. We're talking about taking a nice, relaxing weekend getaway. And all you're focusing on is how to make... <laughs> Wait. And all you are focusing on is how to make it relaxing. I haven't had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not even sure I remember how to relax anymore. I work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is the work I didn't get finished. It's just It's hard to just unplug, you know? And that's exactly why you should come! Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run the battery too long? It loses its charge. We've got to put you back on the charger, Harp. You'll go back to work after the, after the weekend with more energy than ever. 20% more productivity, I bet. Come on. Who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later. What is that face? Ugh, I don't like it. Plus, Nora is really excited about it. It really wouldn't be the same without you. Sorry, passed out last night. Dang it, fine. All right, I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp, but just know that whatever you decide, we're here for you. Oh, that's cute. Yo, Harp! Wow, week went by. Your soul keeps going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Call me back. I'm getting a little bit worried. Just booked. Oh, that was after our phone call. Okay. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Why are we ignoring him? It seems so... Oh. It seems so mean. What did he do? Are we just like... Is he just being too pushy? Maybe he's just being too pushy for... For good old Harp! Hey! Hey! hey. Uh, yep! Is that you? How you doing? He looks nice. Ish. Harp. Oh, we're hugging. Hello. Yes. Hi. Okay. That's still how you hug people? What? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? What? Why is he like that? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Okay. Alright, take a long hug. You look good. And so do you, Mike. Let me just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Okay. Is this- it's just like- where's my bag? Thank, thank you, give me a second. Um, if, when was the last time we seen Mike? It makes it seem like that, like we haven't seen him in months. This is kind of weird. All right then, Hart. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. Okay. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Why are we acting so weird with him? Like I feel like we're the the one kind of being socially awkward. Is it, I don't get why. Was it just because of... He seems like very positive. He also seems like he's really into us. So maybe that's why? But then you could have just said no to this trip. Because now you're going to be having a weekend with just him and Nora. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Hello. It was starting to snow. That's always good. This is actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. A little bobblehead said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded me of and it reminded him of me somehow I could see a little bit of resemblance <laughs> it's the cowboy spirit I guess how do we act so weird with him oh 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 okay yeah we can we'll talk to him in different ways Ooh, not much signal when you're out of what out when you're out here this far oh, okay sorry to bother um, jump out the window! <laughs> it reminds me of that one game with the pastor. Um, what is it? The pastor that, like, picks you up when your car breaks down? 
Look at the road! Gosh, I hate when people do that. Harp. Isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. No. Here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. Oh, I got a text message. Can you wait a minute? Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Uh, how's your new job doing? Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machines, machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Whoa! Well, that was weird. Did you see the school bus? See what? There's a school bus. Maybe it's a project. Huh? You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Yeah, that's true. Can I look at the messages? It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Woo! Hello! Oh, I love seeing deer on the road. Good thing you didn't hit him! That was close. Came out of nowhere. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that the, that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Uh, that's crazy. I don't believe in that. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow showed uh, slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in. Safe travels. Okay, thank you. I'm not really worried about school bus. If it's run down, school buses break down all the time. Unless it's like a brand new school bus, then I wouldn't worry about it. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. <laughs> Are you a little geek? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. That's cool. I like his uh, his interpretation of that. Man, we really should have had that PSP. It's kind of beautiful. I agree. He's making the most out of it. Now we just sit in the car for silence for the next hour and a half. Oh, we're back. 5.14 p.m. We made it. Did we? Maybe not yet. Maybe we're just crossing through. This place looks nice. Hey, is that the Shell gas station? Yo, Harp, check that out. Check what out? Police officer? <gasps> Moe's Pizza? I'm about to call that number right now. I want some pizza. This place looks nice. Yes, let's blind everybody <laughs> who's eating. There we go. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Is it good? This pizza road is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future? No, that's nerdy. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too! Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> he's, so, he's so geeky and cute! How's my bag? It's in the snow. I can't just like put it by my feet. I want to look around. The motel. Cable, TV, phone. Then you got a church. Mm. Is he waiting for us? He is. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't stroll away too far. What are you waiting for? I'm just looking around. Now you want me. Now I want to look around. Pawn shop? Right there? Oh. It's weird how we can actually, like. Mike was waiting for me. Okay. Alright, fine. But it is weird how we can, like, go all the way. I wonder if there's any secrets there. But I don't really want to die. Not today. Um, so I guess... Oh, thank you for holding the door for me! Come on in, Harp. Thank you! Wow, you guys enjoying pizza? What did you get? Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury. Oh, excuse me. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. Did you hear I, my I cat? He's my meowing hands, because man. I locked like, him out of the room. I should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can I like how it's cartoon. That's funny. Studio. Uh, what do we got here? You Potato know, chips, you know super doctor, chips, and Ooh, chips. Caffeine. Yummy, Sounds yummy like in my tummy. And then they're selling croissants, graham crackers. 
black and white Shit, food, and eggs. Go Looks great. Deal with the snow Dr. Of Fizz. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, he's just I'm working. Just the better and what kind of pizza you are you eating? Cheese? Spinach? What are you eating, old man? Yummy? Oh, here we go. Cheese, margarita, pepperoni, veggie, pepperoni, mushroom, pizza, most special. Soda, water. Whoa, 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 excuse you. I'm a cheese person myself, if I'm going to be honest. I do like me a barbecue chicken pizza. Now that machine looks familiar. Okay, I'm sorry to bother. Are we talking? What are we doing? Oh. I like how we could change the music here. This will bother him. What do you want me to do? Hello. Oh, there we go. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Oh. Well, good. That's my favorite pizza, anyways. Thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. That's the good review one. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Wow. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they are also safe, with oh. each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that your stay is top-notch. What? We have many options to choose from, including pet-friendly, alcohol-friendly, family-sized, underground, and many more. Underground? So if you need a vacation and want it cheap, visit rentacabin.com and enjoy about a designated caretaker. A lifetime. What? What is that all about? A designated caretaker? Is there someone gonna be there? That was the most terrifying photo yet! What does it want me to do? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello? How's your day going? It's going much better now after this pizza. Thanks for asking. What about you? Not too bad. It's our first time in the area. Uh, where are you headed? I'm on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. Nice! Hello? We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or just passing through? Go ahead into a rental in Woodbury. Woodbury, huh? We passed a sign for that. Didn't we, Chris? No. Um, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and be care in the snow. You too! Woo! How you doing, my friend? Not bad, you? As good as a man can be, my friend. You here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Good luck. I don't know if we should, you know, I don't know. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? We're heading to a cabin in Woodbury. Woodbury, you say? Beautiful place. Used to camp there quite often when I was a younger man. There's something about being out in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overhead. Those memories just stay with you. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made me a wonderful you made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. Do you come here often? Oh my dear, I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Alright, well you're delusional because it says famous since oh maybe it Maybe he got famous in 21. Uh, two, 2001. What does it want me to do? I'm sorry. I, I'm so confused. I don't want to waste time. Oh my gosh, there we go. Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss? Uh, cheese. <laughs> Alright, what's your second slice? Cheese. The third? Jeez! Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. Alright then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be $22.50. Listen, I wanted to take that guy's advice, you never know. There might be pee pee in the pepperoni, you never know. Oh, thank you. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Is there a seat available? Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. I, you know, I wanted to sit there, but it's fine. Sit over here. Most special with pepperoni and mushroom, 20% off. Like, what is he doing? Why are these people wandering? It's so, um, interesting. What's going on? What are you doing over there? What? 
happening in the gas station? Do we talk to him? Long sniff. <laughs> smells so good in here. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. Where's Nora? Don't we want to talk to Nora? Oh. Friends three. Oh, I love how he's checking his phone too. Oh, you guys are going to hate I love the voice me. acting. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay, all right. She's just going to take her time. Oh, so sorry guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Try slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Okay. Alright, buddy. You guys not gonna talk about that? There you go. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I'm in front of you. Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. It's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Kings in the Corner? You know? Dice? Running queue? Order number 27. You folks are right here. Okay. Listen, I got the cheese. Thank you for the suggestion. Oh. I could have brought it to you. Jeez. Hey, look, I brought the cheese. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. I brought, I got the cheese. I got it. Are you proud of me? Yummy. Did you say grace? Thank you, God, for this food. All right, now we eat. Consuming. <laughs> we consume. No oh, dang, this pizza slaps. Wow, what a word. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb booty pizza. I know, right? Yeah, this pizza is so good. I must consume. Yummy, the crust, my favorite part. Gosh, we eat like animals. Dang, Harp, you actually ate eat the crust? What? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? No, no reason to do that. I'd eat a tire if, <laughs> if I was hungry enough. Fair enough. But eat someone else's tires. We still got a bit of driving to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's no reason to freaking shame someone for not eating crust. There's a bunch of picky eaters out there, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't view it as a problem. But this is so yummy! Hey there, my friends. Hello. Saw so y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you watching who pulls in and taking notes? No, that's not antagonize. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh, okay. This isn't my car. It's his car. It's his call. Um, I kind of just want to see what happens if we say yes. I mean, it's, it's whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen anyways, sure. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at his face. I don't know, he's got chameleon eyes. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. That's what I want. Not sure if we have the extra space for another passenger. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't think of that. You're right, he's right. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I could ride in the middle. Heck, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend. We would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it's not my car. You gotta be crapping me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? I'm sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? Yeah, why is he acting so harsh? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry. I ju I'm just cold and tired, that is all. Yeah. Thanks. I would give you my slice of pizza. I don't know. I'm sorry. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. I just trying to help. Yeah, 
sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. Uh, Alright. Okay, he's leaving. I'm sorry. There was people that came in like a sedan, a four door. Are you kidding me? Look, that person has some space, and this person has more space. Why do you care about us who has a truck? That makes no sense. No sense at all. I'm sorry. I'm confused. He's probably gonna get us though. Tell exactly where the bad people are. All right, yummy. I ate my food. Uh, I'm not burping. Yeah, I'm burping. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did that bother you? Get over it. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, is there a recycling? Oh. Oh, a trash bin. Okay. Uh, holy, that was good. Alright then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Uh, are we close? Let's see. If my GPS is right. It should be about another hour. I don't want to drive. Give me the keys. Let me take over. Carp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive the part? Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive, Michael. <laughs> you got a buddy behind you. <laughs> I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine. But there's one condition. What is it? I get the first choice of bedrooms when, or if, we get there. Alright, whatever. Thank you. Thanks for the keys. Yay, I get to drive! Thank you for the food. Thank you for the suggestion. Hopefully my belly does well with this food. Did he take my suitcase? No, we're fine. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm driving, that's right. <laughs> My bad. My bad. 5.49 p.m. A little bit of time has gone by. Vermont. This is your oh. host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing oh, you the best time. tunes to warm your hearts on this chill. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Alton. Where's the so-called GPS? Stay tuned. Oh, what does that say? What does that say? I can't read it. I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have my license. Forgive me. Oh, this song. It reminds me of um, Iron Bark. I mean, you're not telling me where I need to go. Oh! Yeah, I'm sorry. I passed it. Yeah. Why does this car have that noise? We are not like a garbage truck or anything. <laughs> Why are we beeping? This ain't no scooter. Oh, but the song is good. So nice. I've never been in an area this snowy before. I have when I was like three years old, if you count that. But like, to have like a full memory like that? No, I haven't. It would be nice though. It looks so cozy. It looks like you could have so much fun in it. I know the people who probably live in it are already tired of it. But as someone who hasn't like grown up in it, I think it would be a really, really cool experience. Um, this looks sketchy. Where are we in a storage place? Okay. Please don't tell me the cabin's like right next to the storage facility. Oh, is that our cabin? No. <gasps> Shackled by lust, Jesus sets free. Yes, he does. Amen, brother. Here we go. Woodbury. Vermont. So cool. Is there an actual Woodbury Vermont? I would love to know. Is that it? That looks like it. That's blue. Brother, you gotta tell me. I don't have that GPS like you do. Oh, I think that is it. Oh, that's it. It was a two-story house. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
That's good. Oh. Uh, hello! Don't mind us! We're just bringing our AK-47s in the house. You know, we're grenade testing this season. Hello. Uh, oh, code. That's right. Uh, do we not want to text him? 5176. Oh, <laughs> my suitcase! Uh, hold left mouse on the side. Uh, five. No. One. Seven. Six. Bing. Thank you. That's really cool. I feel like some people could just rip that off and break it. Stop it. There's supposed to be a housekeeper in here somewhere, right? Oh. 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 Hey! You're in my face. You can back up a little bit. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Oh, I'm gone. Can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. What the frick? Okay, the house was cozy and well furnished. Well, good. Ugh, but why is the music not well furnished? Come on now. Well, this place looks nice. It looks decent. Doesn't look like anything bad's happening. Alright, let's just put away the groceries. That was our our telling. Plasti cool. Very nice. Uh, let's put it here. No, let's put it here. No, let's put it here. I had to open the cooler first. Well, freaking how? If I have to... There we go. Two milks for a weekend? What? I put the milk on the door, but okay. Guess not. Oh, it did go on the door. Okay. Uh, two milks for some reason. Uh, what else we got? Frozen yogurt. Uh, frozen yogurt goes in the freezer. That's the whole point of the word frozen. All right, that's fine. A whole thing of eggs. Yummy. Um, oranges. Uh, okay. Uh, l pears. I think those are pears. Pears of lemons. Lettuce! Okay, do we have any meat in here? Like some protein? Bell peppers? Is that it? I had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. This is a mini fridge? Well, I guess so. There's no double door. Oh, hey. I unloaded it. You didn't get any meat? Like chicken or steak, man? Are we vegetarians? Oh, sorry about that, Harp. Why are you apologizing? Everyone goes potty. Everybody poops. You didn't read the book? Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. It's not my business. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Why do you keep calling me my name? Like, you don't need to do that. That I think that part is just, like, really creepy. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. Hang on, I really need to pee. It's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Uh, you mean your bag? Don't unpack mine. Thanks. No need to unpack mine. That's my bag. That's not ours. You. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Can we turn on the light? No, we don't like the lights. The smell alone told me pizza. <laughs> I'd really done a number on my... time. I'm a girl, so I can't make a mess. Why do I need a text, Rick? Oh, that's right. Hi! You've checked in! Okay. Are you sure no one's on the window? Okay. Oh, the music! Please! Stop! Did I flush yet? I don't even know if I flushed yet. Let's flush. There we go. Okay. Am I crouched? I am. <gasps> hey! Where's my stuff? What? You feeling better after the drive? Good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Oh, you're shaking. Oh, you're freaking out. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Okay. Oh, the fire is lit! Yeah, someone has to be here. This room is bigger than my apartment. Yikes. Sorry about that, bro. 
Yeah, this is very cute. Very nice TV. Um, no one out there, as we like it. Creepy lady, as we don't. It's here. Whoa. This is interesting, like a small little office space. <gasps> oh my gosh, Catopoly, my favorite. Snakes and ladders, dragon's labyrinth, mega rounds, Ouija. Ouija? We better not be doing some Ouija. Let's go. Come on. You're in my way. Lock you in there. Have fun with the Ouija. I don't want to be in there. Um, we got upstairs to mess around with. Like, where did you put my bags? I would like to know where you put my bags, please. This place is really nice, actually. It's really cute. Quaint and cute. Just how we like it. Um, oh, flashlight. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to throw that at you. Just, uh, impulse, you know. Bye! <laughs> Alright, this is not a hiding spot. Oh, you're not in my way. Okay. I keep throwing it at you. I'm sorry. There we go. Hi! <laughs> Alright, we'll put that... Uh, I forgot. I have, like, the curse of never being able to put things... Oh! 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 Oh, hello! Hi! Hey, why didn't you turn off that TV? Hello! Oh, you scared us! Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. <laughs> no, no, no. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered that the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Thank you. <laughs> I just love his straight face. Yep. Yep. Gosh, you're really close to me. Speaking of that, now that you, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Right now. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Thank you. Wow. Oh, you're a short old man. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Are you coming, miss? Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Yeah, he was in the house without letting you know. Okay. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Um... I mean, we're not only going to be here for a weekend. You don't really need to stress about fixing things. Where'd you put our stuff, Mike? Look, Harp. This room has a nice freaking view. Yeah, think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Okay, can I look at the view? Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice view. Is there any insulation? This feels like that room would be freezing. Is this the deck? Oh, we have to go. Oh, oh, wow. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Let's just be positive, definitely. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Okay. All right. Is there anything out there? Anything spooky? Is that where we fish? Right there? Okay. The bridge. Neighbors. Hello, neighbors. Where's Nora? We haven't found a hiding spot either, so that's good news on my part. Alright. Hello? Gosh, you're so creepy. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. We, thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. I put the flashlight over here, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. I would leave. I would leave immediately. This is not it. No. I need security. And I do not feel secure right now. Uh. I'm sorry. Yeah, we put stuff in the fridge. Alrighty, folks, I see you stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. 
Speaking of winning, I better show you folks the wind water heater. Okay. I mean, once again, we're here just for a weekend. Like, I, I'm sure we could have figured this all out for, for a total of like two and a half days. Ah, it's awful in here. Hey, Mike, Mike, do we like this? No access to guests. I'm sorry? What do you mean, no access to guests? No, you're even better down here. You look mighty nice. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll you'll be back in business. Mike, don't ask about it. You're going to ask about it. Or we're all going to stand around it, actually. Great. No, nope, you're going to ask about it. Mike, are you kidding me? Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use the basement as storage. Renters don't need space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Yeah, let's move on. Maybe he stays down here when the renters are renting and he's just a little creepy about it. What? Are you kidding me? Uh, excuse me, sorry. What? What? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really see you step down here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mike, exactly. Can we leave now? Can I just go home? <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around a 6 out of 10. Yeah, um, once mine hits like a solid 1 out of 10, I go. Alrighty, folks. No starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. I gotta find that dang cat. Thanks for showing us around. I'm sure the cat's gonna jump scare us. By the way, what was the name of the bookie? I must be getting old. Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. <sighs> uh. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Yeah, just a little bit. <sighs> Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. I don't want to take a shower. <laughs> right after that. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if uh, if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> what a weird guy. I don't want to talk anything bad about him. Thanks. See you in a bit. Oh, okay, let's go to the shower. Frick, man. Gosh, I'm... Um, He's just watching TV. It's fine. He's fine. He's here. That's what matters. Is that he's here. And he's on my side. Alright? He's on my team. Where did he put our bags? I would need to find my, my undies. Um, beforehand. Right? That's like the whole... <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. Okay, let's just take our sh stupid shower. Oh, this looks very nice. Um, very nice. Shower time. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready with my clothes on. Very nice. Ooh, warm. Is this a waterfall in the Amazon jungle? Feels like it. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, why is the TV off? doing what are you doing hey heart check this out found this fishing rod in the shed planning to catch dinner now that you've mentioned that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip i don't know it's cold out there let's do it heck yeah follow me there's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot sure i love this you left the door open are you kidding me you don't let the cold in close that Mmm. Very nice. Oh, he paints. Can I... Come on, Harp. It's this way. 
I just want to see if he... Can I look at the painting? I can't. Okay, I'm on the way! Don't worry about me, I'm here. Woo! Oh, we left the deck door open. Well, we're definitely letting the cold in. Oh. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Let me look around. Oh, uh, we got spare food in here. Um, okay. Gosh, hello. <laughs> um, bait and fish pairing knowledge. Well, I don't really know what the plan is to catch, so don't care enough. Got it! Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. Uh, you up for the challenge? Sure. First things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information on the board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. <laughs> uh, okay, let me grab the bait. All right, some carp. Let's see here. Uh, this one, walleye, smallmouth bass. No, no carp there. Brook trout, yellow perch. No, no carp there. Smallmouth bass, perch. No, no carp. Common carp, chub, bluegill, smallmouth bass, goldfish. Common carp, bluegill, chub, goldfish. We'll do the cheese delight. It has less fish on it, so less chances, right? Oh, cheese delight. Army put on hook. Yay! Oh, I got some cheesy on my hook. Yippee! <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, he st stinks. I feel like we're gonna encounter the guy that we rejected earlier. I'm not for it. I hope there's those carp are biting today. Yeah, I hope so too. Can I sit with you? Ah. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Uh, cast. One carp, sorry for crossing lines. My bad. You know, it happens to the best of us. I'll make sure not to get a snag. Oh, 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 okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, this is, like, worse than Sardu. Okay, okay, got it. We're getting it, we're getting it. Oh, where are you going? Oh, oh. Ah, bluegill. Throw back. Come on. I need to attach my bait. Sorry. Well, this is calming. Oh, my gosh. A horror game being calm. No way, no how. There's gotta be something wrong with this place. I'm trying to look around in between. Oh, got a fight. Uh, gosh, man. Okay. Oh, man. It is. It is difficult. I gotta, like. Mm, mm. There we go. Hey, we got one. Oh, it looks so gross from the front. They, saw, they say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Well, that makes sense. It's too far to cast. My bad. I'm trying to get away from his line. I don't want to bother him. Are you even casting? Oh, you just did. Yeah, like, is there anyone in between? Anyone going in the house? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't think this is a common cart. The last one, the little thing was so small. Yeah, here we go. All right. Like, I feel like by the time we catch the third fist, fish, fist, by the time we catch the third fish, it's gonna, it's gonna do something. Oh, this is definitely not a carp. What the frick is this? Why it's so easy to catch? Oh, that's another bluegill. Yippee. Oh, you can see my little carp in a bucket. Cute. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on. No. I need carp. Wait. Oh, no, that was his bobber. I was like, did that fish jump in the air? It's perfect. I could have caught it. <gasps> there we go. One more. One more to go. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. What about you? What are you doing? Sitting around. What is up with that canoe? Like that redness? That must be just how the game looks. That looks really red. Nothing's gonna happen? Oh, this is definitely a carp. This is definitely a carp. I know my carp when I see them. This is definitely just an annoying carp. An annoying carp that I have to catch. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Are you kidding me? That was totally a carp. That's how I've been catching them. 
Oh, what was me? Come on, throw it. Nice, great, yippee. Anyone, anyone stalking me? I got a rod with a hook on the end of it and I'm not afraid to use it. I've seen the videos. I've seen how, how a hook can really get you. And I'll aim for the eyes. Both of them, with one hook. I'm good at casting. <sighs> there we go. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> I caught three before you. Alright, Harp. Looks like we three got, or we got three carp. What do you mean, we? Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Sure. I'm not gonna bother. How do I get up? There we go. Yep, that was fun. Um, that was so much fun. I had a great time. A great, great time. Um, yeah, that was fun. Why does it get so creepy? Can we put the rods back? Is that what we do? Where's your rod? I guess I'll put mine back. It was too close to the ground? I'm sorry. Oh, I just want to put this away. Fine! Sorry! How to make a mess. Close it. Let's close this too. No entry, please. No entry. Gosh, he bum rushed in. Didn't even wait for me. Mike! Mike, it's scary! Close this too. Who cares? Alright. Why is this open? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, <laughs> paprika, and yogurt. On it. I should have taken a photo of that. Uh, yogurt. Oh, it tells me a list. Oh, thank you. Um, salt. Uh, are you prepping the fish? Oh, that's so cool. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry. Four fish? Did you catch one? Uh, where is... I have to close the mini fish. I don't... Ugh. Salt. There it is. Okay. Uh, oh, we're using the entire bottle. Got it. Using the entire bottle. Paprika. Entire bottle. Uh, Italian seasoning. And there we go. Entire bottle. And ginger paste. Uh, entire bottle. Oh yeah, ginger garlic paste. And olive oil. <gasps> entire bottle. No one out the window, right? The marinade's done. What? Oh, he just managed to walk around me? Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Sure. Anything for my buddy. Oh, I have to throw that. Okay. Where's the fish? Oh, you put it in the bucket. One. Two. Uh, can I get the third? Oh. Oh, only two. Need to throw in the marinade. Ew. <laughs> I know it's going to look better. Now, could you add the veggies? Why do I have to do everything? I already needs to go in for 30 to... 30 minutes at 400. Okay. This is not veggies. That is lemon and tomato. These are both classified as fruits, Mike. I know you're smart in the coding field, but you need to get smart in the vegetation field. Why is it... Why is it being like that? Sorry. I did it. We need to go... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. There we go. I did it. Did I do it? This carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? Saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. Saw some in the room next to the room. Yeah, I saw. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna go get Catopoly. We are not messing with no Ouija boards. We're trying to live. Oh, something broke there. Oh, that's weird. Huh, okay. Ooh. Mike, hold my hand. <sighs> no, I don't want to play this. Drop that. Yes. I got Catopoly. I know this game takes forever to work on, but I really want to play it. You want to play with me? I'm not feeling that one right now, Harp. You son of a... Ugh. Whatever. I'll be back. 
Please don't tell me you want to do the Ouija board. I don't want to do the Ouija board. Did I ever tell you what I wanted to do? Not that. Uh, let's play Stack Tower Stack. Mini version. You love Mini. Mark? Right? Mark? No. Mike? You love Mini. Ah, uh, Tower Stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I've played this. Totally. It's been a long time for me, too. Okay. Let's see how steady those hands are. <laughs> okay. Right here, huh? The two-seated tiny table? Wherever Nora's gonna sit? <laughs> hey! Whenever you're ready, Harp. Okay. Alright. Uh, this one. Oh, I see. There we go. Dang, Harp. Do you practice this in your free time? It was the first block. Come on, don't be like that. Uh, this is how it's done, Harp. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do... Uh, should we test it? No. Um, we'll do this one. Ooh, a new shape. A pentagon, if you will. Uh oh. Ooh, my hands. I feel like I'm gonna get scared and I'm gonna mess up. That move was smooth as butter. What are you gonna do, huh? Oh, you're taking that middle piece. Time to channel my inner architect. What did you take? Oh, that one? Um, I'm gonna take this one then. Oh, I freaking rushed it like an idiot. Well, that didn't last long. Another go. Yep, you know what they say. You only lose if you quit. Dang it. I, <laughs> I don't, there was no reason for me to rush it, but I did. Okay. Alright. There we go. Smooth. Alright, yeah. Yeah, but I know. Oh, he took out that one, though. Okay, and we're gonna take out this one. Oh, a square shape. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Easy. I'm great. Dang, Harpy. Yeah, I know. I'm great. Mm. No, I see. Did you just take out that piece? What? Did you just take... I'll take out this one. Oh. Too easy, right? We can take our next. You've been taking out that piece. You're such a cheater. Uh, oh, I messed up. I'm so scared. I'm so terrified. Oh, I almost lost. Oh my gosh. Ah, the build up. I, oh, that move was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I am not... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Man, losing to you makes me feel like a kid again. Do you want to go again? Um, let's leave it at that for now. Yeah, please. I can't. That's gonna make me, like, poop myself. That was a fun game. Harp, you did really well. Thanks, Mike. Alright. Carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Oh, look at that. It was just about done. How'd you know? Hmm. Plates, 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 plates. Uh, you know where the plates are? Oh, they were right there. <laughs> hey, a little clues, huh? I think uh, our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Oh, we as it's tradition. Let's do it. It's our tradition. Wow, that looks really nice. Do you want me to bring any spare plates? Oh, oh, it's one fish per person. My bad. My bad. Do we want to eat with our hands, or are we going to grab a spoon at least? No? No. Right. Eating with our hands. As we do. As, uh, absolute monsters. Eat pizza with our hand. Are you the- <laughs> It just makes them look so short. Um. Yep, I love eating fish with my fingers. Oh, did I have to turn on the TV? Why didn't you turn it on? Why didn't you turn it on? Oh, oh not this show again. <laughs> No, not this again. Flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. Oh, yummy. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Oh. Season these with 
A lot of salt. A lot it's of salt. For the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Mm, cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. The cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce <laughs> with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next fancy thing we flavor. prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> But here you are anyway. <laughs> listening to the I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna taste like butt. Heart, that was some man. dang fine food. We, we got good injected as, twice as good since we're caught the fish ourselves. Sure it it was really good. Us. We make a great it team, Heart. very heart. angry once it knows mm -hmm. we're trying to cook it. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Stuck my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Oh, a DS, you say? DSi, DSXL, 3DS. Which one? I'll be right back. This is extremely hard to make. I'll do. Okay, I'll do dishes until then. It requires a lot of patience. Not gonna lie, it's gonna taste like absolute dog. Alright. Oh, not by a window, please. Dishwashing? We're dishwashing. Scrubby dub dub dum. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Dishwashing. 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 We're dishwashing. Oh, I don't like it. Ah! It's over. It's over. Okay. Not use diesel. Oh. So after letting the gasoline come Ooh, to a boil, we can put okay. in our ramen. There's someone under my bed some stuff right now. In my grandmama's you come upstairs. Basement. What? But you can use what? whatever kind you like. What? This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline. Sounds slow. Stop it! It's so weird. Ah! Hello. Oh my gosh, Mike! <laughs> my heart. I'm gonna die before this video ends. It's gonna. It, I'm not even gonna go on my trip. It's just gonna be this. <sighs> You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harv. Don't mess them up. Yeah, good looks, all right. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? No, it's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of fight and s hide and seek? Fight and seek. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to play that. I'll get back to you for this. Fine. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Where the frick do you want me to hide? Uh, I decided to hide in the basement. Oh, we're. Hmm. Great. 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 I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Great. Now. I know you're in there. Don't open that.
Huh? <laughs> Got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Oh, all right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. No! Oh, I don't want to close my eyes. Oh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. We are not going in that room. No way. No freaking how. That is our last option. That is our last option. Okay. Gosh, this music. Whoever makes this music knows what they're doing because I want to just sit here and cry. I want to cry. I want to shed tears and cry. Okay. He better- he's inside the house, right? Like, that's the rule. I keep thinking- <laughs> I keep thinking that's something. Stop. Where is he? Don't be like this. Where are you? <gasps> oh, thank god. Got you! Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. You wanna try this again? No kidney. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. Oh, man. I see this attic access door in here. That's not our business. That's not our business. I'm you. Are you going to check it out? You're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think, uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. One of us really should look. Why are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? <laughs> Seriously, Sydney. I don't think I would fit through. You set step stool behind you and climb up. No. Oh. Couldn't reach it without a step stool. Oh, I don't think my mic's registered. Oh. 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 Whoops. I mean. Is there... I don't even know. How do I, I don't even think I can exit. Oh, great. Um, well, I'm, I feel like I'm too far in to freaking recognize that. Where the frick is the step stool? I don't understand. It's none of our business. It's really not. Uh, picking up gray. Okay, and we plays. It's not a our business. Done. I checked. <laughs> I checked. Yeah, it was great. We're going to check it out. Oh. 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 Hello, kitty. Hello. Hello. You've been stuck up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, que lindo. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, Mike. Mike, it was just a cat. It was just a cat, Mike. <laughs> Looks like we aren't the only wussy. <laughs> it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. You ready to count again? I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her... Uh, one of the carp after I come find you again. No, come on. I'm staying in here, frick you. Decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Great. Thank you. Okay, so we have a hiding spot in the basement, under the stairs, and then in the closet in the first bedroom. Sit here and watch, I guess. <sighs> I don't like it. Man, oh, at least the game hasn't been buggy. I don't think it has, at least. 
I love how we can hear the TV from all the way over here. How does he know? I'm sorry, how do you know? Where the frick is Nora? Hey, I'm over here! <gasps> Did you not see that? Did you not see that guy walk? Mike, can I get out? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm going to cry. Hey. There you are. That dang harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Choose. Clo close this pretty side now. No, I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're heading back anyways. You find me and we'll go to bed. Come on! Let's not play these stupid games! There's someone in the house! I saw it! <laughs> I can see you walking away. <laughs> Come on! There is someone in the freaking house. No. No, someone. What are the noises I'm hearing? I'm not going in the basement. Gosh, please tell me that's the TV. No, there's something happening in the basement. I hear it. I hear it, but I don't want to be the. F I don't want that to be my first option. I want it to be when the text tells me. If the text tells me, then I'll do it. No way. She He's hiding in the attic, right? Right? Can't reach without Cecil. So Cecil's there, dummy. I don't think he's there. Stop, I hear that. Obviously he's not. Oh, flashlight, please don't. Oh my gosh, I am like, I just... What the frick are you doing? Oh! Please, please, this is enough. This is enough. What's going on? What happened? Oh, uh, hey there. Why the heck are you in here again? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with that hammer? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. Got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You never, f you ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? didn't think so, so now I imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Isn't it late for you? How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, we need to be we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you could do it fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I we don't really, don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Uh, don't piss him off! Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing a faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Can we follow him? Oh, we're, we are following him. I got my flashlight on you! You're being really weird! Uh, why do you have to be so weird? Oh my gosh. Nora's not even here yet. Why the frick is Nora? Nora made the call to not come here so suddenly. We should tell Nora not even to come. Be like, Nora, this creepy man in the place. We don't know what's up with him, but he's being creepy and weird. And I think it's best that you don't show up. I would have done that. I would have been like, Nora, I'm sorry, girl. Mm -mm. It's not it. 
it's not it. I would be, you should be a friend. And, like, I mean, I know, like, the more people, the mer like, the merrier, like, the more protected, you know, 3v1, whatever. But just this. This is awful. I don't know how you wouldn't have left already if he's coming into the place unannounced. If I went somewhere and the people were coming in unannounced, I would die. Pass away. And my freaking Lego, look at this. My Lego freaking mantis just broke off. I just realized my cat knocked it over. Oh boy, I love cats in game and out. Here we go. Look at that. So pretty. While we're loading, look at that. Oh, so nice. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's a mantis. You like mantis? So do I. They eat heads of their spouses. Oh, I wish I could eat the head of this guy. Okay. I don't even know what happened. My game has been like this for like five minutes now. Um, I don't know if it's because I opened the freaking door or what. I can't freaking do anything. <laughs> do I really have to do that all over again? Gosh darn. Um, hopefully it doesn't... I want to see how far back it's going to put me, but I definitely got soft lock there. And that's what really stinks. Okay, so we're at the hide and seek part, which looks like we're a little over halfway. Which is nice. Um, let's see how far along the hide and seek is. I decided to hide in the basement. Oh, okay, so we're we're hiding in the basement in here. Okay, well I guess I'll be back when I get to the point I was in. Okay. Alright. We're I'm back. Didn't take long since the checkpoint was really close. But I really am nervous now of what's gonna happen in the end. Please don't please don't break this time, please. I didn't open the door. Maybe it was because I opened the door. I don't know. Hopefully it works this time. We're still waiting on Nora to show up. If Nora ever shows up. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, and but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. I would never. That is so stupid. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Nora is still not here. 11.39 p.m. This is six hours past. What is that noise? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Why did it do that? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Please don't be the weird one. Is that our car? Why is our car moved? Whose car is that? Ah! Hey! Hey. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Yeah, it really got pretty bad. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. It's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. You guys are supposed to watch over the people they care about, right? Mike is being weird. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Yeah, I wish you would just cut it out. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the dang house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I'll help if we both get some sleep. What are you doing? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? This is weird. Harp, you know. I've missed this. Us just talking. 
It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Why? This is not the time. Now I feel so creeped out. Mike, where is this coming from? Stop. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it really well. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. Didn't start out awkward though. Like, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. It sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Can you give me a second? Oh. oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Like, I don't think it, this is a good time. What did she say? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire go? just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? She needs help. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll help you. I'll help go get Nora. It's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. <sighs> Please be careful. Ah, I'm so scared to reject him. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say to him. Is he gonna leave? Oh, what is. I wanna watch him leave. Oh, little snowflake. No. Maybe we should just go to sleep then, I guess. Oh, my, I'm sick to my stomach. Couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Oh. Uh, of course. Why didn't he? I don't know what I saw, but I thought I saw something. Okay. Here we go. Bed. I can't sleep for some reason. Did I not lock the door? Where's the flashlight? Gosh, man. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Oh, he's still out there? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven him worse. Besides, Noah's probably freaking out more than you right now. Probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Where do I go? How about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Uh, okay. Out through the door. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Try safe. Okay. Okay, and now he's leaving. Yep, there he goes. Oh, I really should have went with him. Oh, I really should have went with him. No. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is not right! I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. Her, with her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Oh, an hour goes by. Around an hour. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, you are wrong. That was some good rest. No. So 
Someone was at the front door. No, no. No. Please, no. I love it. everything nice. Who is it? Doesn't show. Realization someone's outside. This late at night was horrific. It's the guy. It's the guy. It's the freaking guy. I'm not answering it. What does it want? What? What do you want me to do? Hello? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from the same some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Oh, uh, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you freaking kidding me? You're not gonna let me freeze to death out here. I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a ho <laughs> here as you were back in the joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. Looks like you're still unkind. Oh, please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 for now. Fine. Suit yourself. tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a witch, my friend. Oh, 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 it is. Oh. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Really? Couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Really? Really? That's... Oh, I left the closet open. Oh, that's so terrifying. Sorry to bother you. Can you come over again? There's someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live close? Please, 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 please. Why not check the other houses though? I'm not moving. Maybe I should hide in the attic? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Could reach with my steps to one on the septum. I'm answering the door. Am I? Does it want me to go down there now? It's so creepy. Should I go? No way I should go, right? Should I? Oh, I feel like I have no choice. Nothing's evolving from it. ringing anymore. Oh, it is. Oh. Who is it? Who the frick is this? Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Rick, please. 
What the heck's going on here? Rick, I'm so glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why? Why do you have a hammer? What? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, you went to pick up another fr our other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What? What is he doing? What? Can I talk to him? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. I haven't been into the rental in weeks. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah. Thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can get back if you want. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. Not Rick, are you? What did you just say? <laughs> I'm so nervous! This is my freaking house, and I'll leave when I want to! What do you want? I want what's mine. This house, and you. You're trespassing. Get out of here before I cop. There's no cops. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. Anyone's leaving this house? It'll be one of us. so terrifying at night. Okay. Should I go hide? Uh, okay. Gosh, she's so weird. What? You wanted me to hide then? I, okay, so I guess I'll go hide downstairs in the basement. Let me get that all warmed up and ready. <sighs> I didn't even... Oh my gosh, in my business. Okay. I'm gonna go hide. in fear. I don't know. Should I go hide in the attic next if I die? Oh my gosh. Why don't we text Mike? I know there's multiple hiding spots, but please, please tell me this is okay. Is he gonna go in that room? I will live here. I will be Harry Potter. I will live down these stairs forever if it means you can't find me. He did go in there. 
Sprint? Sprint where? <gasps> no! Oh, 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 Sh come on, come on. escape somehow uh, hiding in the basement okay the hiding in the basement was a good thing but I need to figure out where to go maybe on the deck <sighs> where does it want me to go afterwards is this after he opened the door okay no okay open <gasps> Upstairs. Here. Close. Here. Close. And I'm stuck. And I'm stuck. Uh, he doesn't since he doesn't know where the cat is we can go up in the attic because he didn't know there was an attic I don't know. Hey. Nora you could have killed me no this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work They drove up, they drove up, they're here. They're here, they're here, they're here. Pick up the phone, sleepy head, we're almost there. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's terrifying. now hey. oh he doesn't know there's an attic he doesn't know there's an attic please text them please <laughs> Kitty, you almost got me killed! You're so cute. Are you alright? Just got to talking to this on the phone. Call 911. Thank God! Thank God! Oh God. Here. Here. Sneak in. Come on, squeeze in a little. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm not moving. Kitty, come back here. It's safe. It's safe and sound, Kitty. Where are the messages with my other friends? I don't think now's the time to move. Is it? It has to be. Nothing's happening. Are we fine? We're moving so slow. Dude, he broke this door down. Are we okay? Please. Please. 
Everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. What was in the room? What was in the creepy room? The creepy room with the creepiness. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think the man we saw secretly lived in, the, in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this. The man's actions aside from just robbing us. Yeah, no. He, he was on some sick stuff. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Let's go! Full refund! Yes! Give me my money! Give me my money! Oh, so what, but what was in the room? I want to know what was in the room. Oh, there it is. It shows it, yep. It was an opening to get to the outside from the front of the house. And that's how he, he probably just like left and then turned right back in into the house. And that's how he got in. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, but that was the fifth episode. I think the fifth episode was going to be their last episode of the um, series. But they make such beautiful games. I hope they do more. And uh, I wonder if the hiker thing was real. Oh, all of it was a pain. So it must have been, if it was my guess, it must have been like a really messed up family member or like an old friend or actually someone who used to own the house and, um, and just was holding a grudge after selling it. That is super, super, super creepy. Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. Ah, thank you for making the game. Oh, it's over. Around the two hour mark too. Though I did get soft locked, and but that's okay. And that is the story of the Woodbury getaway. Oh man, that was good. I wouldn't say that one was my favorite. Um. It was cool to see the guy wander in the house when we were playing hide and seek. I wonder if there were any other secrets I missed. Um, but I still think uh, Iron Bark has my heart a little bit because of just the little details that you get to see a lot more that were, I guess, a lot more obvious than this one in this game. But the fishing thing was cool. We fished, we cooked. I should have fed the cat. I know there was an achievement for it. I should have done it. But it was smart too, how like, he didn't know where his cat was because he didn't know where the attic was. So, and the cat was in the attic. So it was kind of like a symbol saying like, if you need to go, go here. Cause he doesn't know that there's a place here. Um, so maybe he didn't own the house in the end, you know? You never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you watched it fully, uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, I know you guys requested this. And uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just really grateful for you guys. And I will be back next week. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye. Stay safe. Don't rent a cabin.